Alex Ferguson, asked Emu to keep Solskjaer until the end of the week. The moves over the past 24 hours suggest that United will let Solskjaer continue this week, but a crushing defeat against Tottenham, if it happens over the weekend, will almost certainly send him out. Some sport yesterday revealed that MU has been in contact to find out who can replace Solskjaer, with Dean Dimesidane, Antonio Conte, Brendan Rodgers, and Eric Ten Hag as strong candidates. But in the last attempt, Sir Alex Ferguson still stands to sponsor his beloved pupil. Accordingly, the dismissal should have been given, but thanks to Sir Alex's reputation, plus the upcoming tenth match with Tottenham this weekend, the MU leadership has not been able to take action. They gave Solskjaer one last chance. But if he loses again, even draws, nothing can save him anymore because now, everything is prepared for a change in the steering chair at Old Trafford. Sporting director Arnold is promoting the appointment of a new coach for the Red Devils. Arnold is said to have spoken to both Ferguson and former chief executive David Bill on the topic of who will lead the team in the future. Perhaps after this meeting, an agreement to keep Solskjaer's seat for a week was approved. Not only saving the seat for his students, Sir Alex also made great efforts to save the morale of the players who did not go to the bottom. Yesterday, Sir Alex and former chairman Martin Edwards went to the training ground. This is a pre-arranged appointment in Emu's sponsorship contract program, but taking this opportunity, Sir Alex also took advantage of chatting with the Pillars to revive their spirits. Many insiders noted that the atmosphere in Carrington was very bleak. The players are still training as usual but seem sluggish, and no one is comfortable after what is happening at the team. Perhaps of these, many would love to have a change on the steering bench. With the happenings at MU, it seems that Solskjaer's job loss is still very clear.